Alnus glutinosa, black alder. These are trees reaching 40 to 60 feet high, often with a loose pyramidal or narrowly pyramidal habit. These may be grown as multi-stem trees. The foliage is deciduous and alternate, and the leaf shape is somewhat of an oval or with a rounded apex. Six to eight vein pairs may be present. There are axillary tufts of hair beneath the leaves. The leaves are usually a dark, glossy green and glabrous or smooth above. There is no real fall color. The leaves tend to drop before turning yellow. Ornamental features include a gray-green bark turning somewhat brown and polished when mature. Nutlets are born on one and a half to one inch long peduncles that separates these from the other ulnuses. These are monoecious, red-brown two to four inches long male catkins will be born in clusters of three to five. Fruit may persist through the fall and into the winter. Cultural information for ulnus glutinosa. These are hardy from zones four to seven, do best in full sun, and will tolerate part shade. They prefer a soil pH of 5.0 to 8.0 or acidic to alkaline conditions. Insect and disease problems include powdery mildew, canker, phytophthora, different kinds of miners, aphids, lace bugs, saw flies, and tent caterpillars. These are not native to Iowa. Their native range is Europe, Western Asia, and Northern Africa. These tend to be fast growers when young, often in a multi-stem clump which gives additional ornamental appeal. These produce stronger wood than silver maple. They prefer moist to wet soils, but also do well under dry conditions when established. They will grow in thick clumps along rivers and lakes. These also associate with nitrogen fixing bacteria. For best ornamental appeal, prune in late winter or early spring.